Three Gods See No Lion is a wonderful show. It is so beautiful, inspirational, heartbreaking, and heartwarming. And I haven't talked about it for a while. So, let's fix this tonight with one of my favorite parts of it. Well, one of my many favorite parts because there's a lot to like. Opening 3, which might just be my favorite opening in all anime. It is so powerful, filled with emotions and the stories these characters embody. I'm having trouble making this video because when I'm trying to write the script for it, I'm getting into the song, wanting to yell the lyrics despite the fact I wouldn't know what they meant without a translation. And I actually do know a lot of the lyrics because I've heard the song so many times. Actually, just go listen to the song, read the lyrics, see the art of the opening, and I think you'll understand. You don't need me to tell you why it's so good. You can see for yourself. But since talking about it sounds fun, and that was my idea for the video, I'll share some of what gives it so much power for me. First of all, this opening is filled with bright color, which really shows Ray's mindset and how much he has grown throughout the first season. The show itself has the best visual direction in anime, where every decision is meaningful, and color is one of the big things the show uses to set the mood and show us the character's feelings. At the start of the show, Ray's life was dark, Void of color, but the Kawamoto home was always bright and colorful. The color in the opening shows how Ray is a changed person, how his life is filled with color because of the Kawamotos, and now he can bring color into other people's lives, which he does all throughout season two. I was not ready for season two. It, it was just so good. Back to the opening, though. There's so many shots here that are amazing, filled with meaning that I could probably spend an hour going through all of them. I love how they keep switching between Ray and the sisters, starting out of calm at first, but then showing Ray running. But they also have the sisters resting, living a calm life, which shows so much. Ray is off chasing his goals, but he is empowered by the fact that he has a home and a family to come back to when he needs to rest. One of the things I just noticed about the opening is that it really doesn't show Ray with the sisters. Just one shot where he's looking at them near the beginning. But we know that's where he's been given his strength from. The time he spent with them empowers him. But it goes the other way too. Hina gets a big episode in season two, which you know which one I'm talking about, I'm sure. But one of the things that really is notable about that episode is that Ray isn't in it at all. But we know that the strength that Ray gives Hina is what lets her stand strong and bring color back into her world. I gotta talk about the song itself. You can just hear so much emotion in the voice. It is filled with strength, determination, and power, but also a bit of fear. It is sung from the perspective of someone who has overcome many challenges, who was standing atop a hill, but knows the fight to ascend the mountain is not done. It is a song sung in the intermission giving them strength to keep fighting, but it is also a song to rally those around them. The lyrics are so beautiful as well, and I love the imagery each line paints, and how it fits with the visuals and just the story of the anime. I love the lines about planting a flag, taking a stance as a boxer, or pounding on a door that you panned yourself. These lines fit Ray so well and how much of a fighter he is, especially in this season. The full song is filled with even more wonderful lines. The second verse means for Hina, portraying her as afraid of her future, but seeing that there is no turning back and facing the future strong on the triumphs of her past and then taking her place as a dancer. The bridge of the song, too, really hones in the, on the fact that life is hard. And there may be times where it seems like there is no hope. But then the song picks up again, with the message to keep on fighting, and that there are countless times to be reborn, or knock on a door of your ideals. The song and the opening are just incredible. The show is, too. It is easily my favorite slice of life of all time, because it's about life in a way that no other show is. Go check it out if you haven't already. It was my top anime of 2018, and no other show even came close.